All right, everyone. Toru from Jojolian is a character. And well, spoiler alert ahead. Don't watch this video if you're not caught up on Jojolian. But sadly, Toru dies. But what if Toru's death is a mere facade, with him still out there due to some calamity wizardry or something like that? Here is a theory that I have come up with. What if Toru got transported to part two battle tendency? Now, I know this sounds extremely crazy, but if you think about it, it sort of makes sense. If you think about battle tendency as a part there are a few ideas in there that could point to Toru's presence, especially around the end of the part. Now, first of all, the main thing to mention is that pillar men and rock humans are basically counterparts of each other in their universes. So when Toru switched to the main Jojo universe, he is probably just seen as a pillar man, but he's actually a rock human. But well, Toru is pretending to be a human, but he's actually a rock human. So maybe the Pillar Men just accepted him into their own group due to their stone-like elements. Now, there is this scene in Battle Tendency that gives off major red flags on not just Toru's involvement in the part, but also things of his possession. Look back to the fight of Cars versus Lisa Lisa. Now, this fight was really short, but told us a lot about the true mastermind of Battle Tendency. The most iconic scene in the fight is afterwards, where Cars starts to make a certain noise. Now, a lot of people interpret this scene as Cars imitating a guitar. And I mean, if you look at Lisa Lisa's legs, and I mean, how couldn't you? Okay, um, but yeah, it looks like he's playing a guitar. But notice the sound closely. Doesn't it sound like a wasp? Possibly the sound of a rock insect? When we find out what do 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 di da 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 and obla di obla da sound like, which will probably be a decade from now, unless we get Toru in All Star Battle R and they give him his rock insects like they really should. I mean, <laughs> all right, I'm going off topic, but yes, Cars is making the noise of rock insects, and maybe this is Cars telling Joseph that he isn't the final villain but that there is in fact someone above him that is somewhat the brains of this whole operation. Cars was trying to warn Joseph, but Joseph couldn't figure it out, which then leads to my next point, which has to do with the final battle between Joseph and Ultimate Lifeform Cars. Now, this fight is really iconic and shows peak Joseph being able to outsmart something similar to a god. But notice a lot of calamity occurring during the fight. For example, when Joseph was flying the plane, it crashed. Now, it did show that Cars' feathers turned into piranhas and an octopus that made the plane crash. But imagine how hard it could have been for cars to actually land those, and in such good positions. I mean, Joseph is flying a plane. So this could have been the work of a calamity. Not only do we have a plane crashing, but we also have the volcano that Joseph, Stroheim, and cars were in literally erupting straight at them. And think about it. Cars probably had no idea where he was digging. Maybe it was the calamity that affected Joseph. Because of all the places Cars could have ended up, how could it have been the place where Joseph walked to? Cars had no idea where Joseph should have been because Joseph was walking with Strohan. And that was the scene that caused Joseph to lose his left hand permanently. Now, the main question 91.5% of my audience is probably asking is, well, 
why didn't Toru show up and try and stop Joseph after that? Now, obviously the 8.5% already knows this, but, well, it's because Toru isn't stupid. Stupid? That's the GOAT. Don't ever disrespect Toru like that, ever again. Toru is a very smart man. His stand would cause Joseph bad luck if he ever wanted to approach the main villain. Not only this, but remember my point about Cars warning Joseph about someone above him with the rock insect noise. Well, Toru definitely is someone who wouldn't like that. Toru wants to stay hidden. He wouldn't like hints like that. And also, that's why Toru was so easy on not saving Cars in any way. To Toru, Cars deserved to float in space because he would do something like that. Toru does not care about his allies. He merely uses them as a means to get to the top, especially if those allies are fake rock humans. Not only does Toru have major effects on the plot of Battle Tendency, but he also has a big effect on the epilogue of the part. This is because now warning this this may leave a tear in your eye but go back to speedwagon's death how old was speedwagon when he died that's right everyone 89 toru killed speedwagon wait does this mean that speedwagon is the satoru akafu of the original universe Maybe Toru killed Speedwagon to become the head of the Speedwagon Foundation. What if he's using the same strategy as the alternate JoJo universe, where he has his stand be the head of the Foundation, while Toru masquerades as a humble employee? This truly is something to think about. Who knows what else he could have done throughout the rest of the parts. I mean... The time between Battle Tendency and Stone Ocean is a mere 70 years. Even if Toru was like 50 during Battle Tendency, because he's a rock human, he could certainly live up until the end of Stone Ocean. It certainly is a big possibility that Araki could somehow tie this all together with Jojo Lands, if we even find out when. Jojo Lands will be released. Hmm.